All right, I'm dip netting at the mouth of the Latina River <sighs> on the copper. It's been picking up uh, up to nine salmon. I'm gonna do a couple of quick drifts, see if I can't get one on camera. I've been picking them all up in about the same spot. So let's see if it holds true. Just toss your net out there. Kind of hold it upright best you can. And start walking down the water. Caught a rock, roll the net over it. Keep going. Somewhere in this, you gotta tell the wobble is from a rock or a salmon. I didn't think I had one there, but I thought my net was bunched up. Right about here is where I've been picking them up. I try not to fall in. So I'm working the opposite way. Roll the net. I have a big rock in it, I think. Yeah, I think I have a big rock. A couple big rocks. Reach down, leave big bad boys out. It's a very exact science, this. Great part and problem with these nets is they grab literally everything. The littlest amount of edge you grab onto. Alright. Start back from the top. Oh, I got a hungry seagull over there. I'm gonna try to muscle in, pick the eyes off my salmon. Yeah, you better keep running. Hmm. Some eagles right there. He probably wants the same thing the seagull wants. <clears throat> oh, got a salmon right there. Oh, shit. Trip over a big old rock. Ow. <sighs> and you get a whacking stick. And you add them to the stringer. <sighs> Literally set that net on top of the fish. <sighs> All right. <sighs> Content warning. And that's how you kill a salmon. step of this is you want to bleed them out reach in there grab and break their gills These things are full of parasites so they'll uh, 
Parasites will swim into the meat. And by parasites, we worms. Bleeding them out slows that. And keep them in water slows it as well. As long as they stay cool, they think they're still fish still alive. Or so I've been told. Can all just be malarkey. I've definitely seen the worms though. Those are real. <laughs> all right. Good size ones. And that makes 10. I started this at eight, it's maybe nine. Worst ways to spend the day. All right, gonna need a new stringer after this. Oh. And for dip netting, yeah, clip the tails. All right, and that's as easy as that. Yeah. Thank you. 